Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is Elder R. L. Dollop Jr. coming on to you with to you with the only infallible, uncompromising, unadulterated, written word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from His Son Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God that is now set on the right hand of the Father. Jesus offered himself as the sacrifice once and for all. Therefore, no more sacrifices or offerings are required for Jesus' sacrifice and offered himself. That's it. It's the only. Today we want to talk about Jesus never told nobody to give an offering to the church. He never told nobody to give an offering to the church. I'm not saying it's something wrong with that. But don't say that it's required by God and required by Jesus because it's not. That supply our building, our lights, our air conditioning, padded pews, choir robes, usher uniforms. Women Day, Men Day, Pastor's Anniversary, Pastor Saturday. That's, that's for the upkeep of our building and the uh, 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 and the aid of the pastor, sister pastor, the payment rally. And, it, 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 and anybody else that was that fuck God ain't getting it, it ain't going to God understand that's organization they're going to the organization it takes money to run our church uh oh law it takes money to run our church, not Jesus' church. It takes money to run our church, honey. It don't take money to run Jesus' church. Because Jesus ain't got no light bill. Jesus' church ain't got no light bill. Ain't got no mortgage. Ain't bonding no mortgage. Ain't getting no second mortgage. The, 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 the pastor ain't getting no salary. He ain't preaching for no money. Ain't got to pay the pastor's card. No, not in Jesus Church. Jesus Church is already built. The members are already in it. And already complete. And preaching going to go on. Don't care if you don't give a dime. Preaching going to go on. But that's our church. It takes money to run our church, but our church is not Jesus' church. That's the organization. And God will, we'll talk about that tomorrow. Jesus did tell us to give. However, Jesus did tell us to give. What did he tell us to give? Get your Bible. Go to Mark, the book of Mark. Yes, he told us to give. Yes, he did. Let's see what he told us to give. The book of Mark, we want chapter 12. <laughs> Let's see what he told us to give. And how you ain't giving it. 12 and verse 41. 
Well, this is dealing with the widow. You know, a lot of you false prophets throw this scripture up here. Well, the widow gave all she had. Let's show you that the widow, what she was given to. And who, how she was given to. And she was still operating under the old covenant in the temple. Mark 12, 40. You say, the widow's might. She gave all she had. Okay. Mark 12, 40. Let's look at this whole thing. I'm going to show you what Jesus said. That's why it's important, people, to study for yourself. All right. Here's the thing here. The widow wasn't supposed to be given nothing. She was not supposed to give her last. She was supposed to, what she gave to, that was supposed to take care of her. Mark 12, 38. And he said unto them in his doctrine, you know, Jesus' doctrine, beware of the scribes which love to go in long clothing and love salutations in the marketplaces and the chief seats in the synagogue and the uppermost rooms at the feast. What else they do, Jesus? Which devour with those houses which devour with those houses watch this and for a pretense make long play prayers these shall receive greater damnation oppressing the will telling the will give all you got 41, watch this. And Jesus said over against the treasury. You know what the treasury was? You know what treasury was? Let's put the finger right there and go to Nehemiah chapter 10. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's show you what the treasury was. You... You know y'all preach about the storehouse. Where the storehouse is in your church? Where is that? Where is it at, I said? Nehemiah. <sighs> Nehemiah, read with us. Chapter number 10. Jesus said over against the treasury. Watch this. Watch this. Let's begin with verse 37. And that we will bring the first fruits of our dough and our offerings, and the fruit of all manner of trees, and wine, and of all that are to the priest, to the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground unto the Levites, and, and that the same Levites might have the tithes of all the cities of our tillage. And the priest of the son of Aaron shall be with the Levites, and when the Levites take the tithes, and the Levites shall bring up the tithes of the tithes unto the house of the Lord, 
to the chambers into the treasure house. For to the Israel, and to the Levi shall bring an offering of corn, new wine, oil, and to the chambers where are the vessels of the sanctuary and the priests that minister and the porters and the singers, and will not forsake the house of our God. That is in the temple. So Jesus, the temple is still in the temple. Remember Jesus whooped them folks out of the temple. <laughs> Remember Jesus whooped them folks out of the temple. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Go, go back tomorrow. Well, matter of fact, let me, let me go here. Let me go here. Remember Jesus whooped them folks out of the temple. He said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. And that's in Chronicles. But you made it a dead of thee. Jesus whooped out, whooped, whooped out the, turned over the table and whooped out the money changers and all that kind of thing. Jesus tore it up. Tore it up. Jesus tore it up. Tore all this stuff up. He tore it up. I'm going somewhere. He tore it up. Huh? Watch this. Back in 41, Mark 24, and Jesus said, Oh, against the treasury that was in the temple now. And, uh, and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. And men that were rich cast in mud, but the same, but that came a certain pool with pool with though. They pulled take care of the widow. And she threw in two mites, would make a fart a farting. And he called to his disciples, saying unto them, Knowing Jesus and the disciple wasn't putting nothing in. I want you to know is that Jesus and the disciple was not putting nothing in. Verily I say unto you that this poor widow had cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in their abundance, but she of uh, her won't did cast in all she had, even all her living. Now, watch this. Go 13. And he went out, watch it. He went out of the temple, watched his sight, said to him, Matt, see what Mount Stone is, what buildings are here. Jesus said to him, See thou these great buildings that shall not be not be left one stone upon another that shall not be thrown down. Now, I need to go to the other the other uh uh the other gospel on this. I want to show you. Okay, Luke. Luke 12, 40. I'm sorry, Luke 21 and 1. I want to show you this. Luke 21 and 1. We get there. I need to show you this is important. Luke 21 and 1. Here it is. Here it is. And Jesus looked up and saw, saw the rich men casting in gifts into the treasure. Watch it. And he saw a certain poor widow casting in the other two might. And he said, Of a truth I say unto you that this poor widow had cast in more than they all. For all these have of their abundance cast read with us cast in unto the offerings of God the offering of God the offering of God 
we read in Nehemiah, everything that came in, your tithe, your offering, your oil, your dough, your first fruits, your tithes of the tithes. You even had gold, if you read, you even had golden vessels. The offering of God. All right, now, now that we got that clear, let me, let me, Go to Matthew 9.13. See what Jesus require. Matthew 9.13. Jesus said, But go ye and learn what this means. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. Jesus said, I will have mercy, not sacrifice. You sacrifice with your offerings and your tithes and all that. No. Mercy is what I would have. Wait a minute. Let go further. I want you to go to Luke 1141. Let's get down to business. We're going to show you what Jesus told us to give. Luke 11, 41. But rather give alms. Jesus said give alms. He didn't say give offerings. He didn't say give tithe. He said give alms. You know what alms is? Do you know what alms is? Alms is for the needed. Let's stay, come on, let's stay there. Go to 1233, Luke 1233. My God, hallelujah. Look at what Jesus said. Hallelujah. Sell what ye have, give alms. He didn't say give no offers to no shit. He said give alms. You know, alms is what you give to the needy. Um, and what you give to the poor. Hallelujah. Praise our God. Glory to God. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter number 6. <laughs> Thank God for the Holy Ghost. Acts, chapter number 6. And one. And in those days when the number of disciples were multiplied, there arose a murmuring to the Grecians against the Hebrew, because their widows were neglected in the daily ministration. They give it to the widow. Wait a minute. That this widow gave two mites. She wasn't supposed to give that. <laughs> they supposed to give to her. Yeah. See that? <laughs> Glory to God. Uh, uh, uh. I think I want stay in the book, book of Acts. I think I want 13. I, I need to show you this. I need to show you this. I want the I want Darkus. The disciple Darkus raised it from the dead. Darkus. That's not it. The disciple Tabitha raised from the dead in the Bible. According to Wikipedia, the oh. disciples present called upon Peter, who came from nearby Lydda to the place where her body was being laid. Act 936. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy to God. Act 9 36. Hallelujah. Watch it. That was in Zappa, a certain disciple named Tabitha, which interpretation is called dark. This one was full of good works and alms deeds, which she did. She gave alms. 
Watch it. Third day, in four months, and Lydia was not to drop in the cyber hurry. Peter was there. They said the two men out here that he would not delay. Uh, 39. Then Peter rose and went with them. Uh, when he was called, they brought him to the upper chamber, and all the wi widows stood by him, weeping and showing, showing the coats and garments which darkers made. Arms. Jesus said, Give all. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We ain't through. Go to Luke 12, 33. Where we just read that one. Uh, we want... Oh. Matthew 5. Matthew 6 and 1. Jesus told us to give. But what did he tell us to give? He didn't tell us to give no tell. Read. Matthew 6 and 1. Take heed that you do not your arms before me. Arms. To be seen of them. Otherwise ye have no reward of your father which is in him. But when you do your arms. <laughs> Don't sound the trumpet. Three, but when you do your arms, let not the left hand know what the right hand do, but that thine arm may be seen in secret. God see what you're doing. God see what you're doing to help other folks. And he gonna bless you. You hear what I said? I say he gonna bless you. If you give, he going to bless you. I thought give away the Bible say to people that have need. If you give, he going to reward you for giving. I'm not making, wait a minute. And I'm not talking no tongue either. Four, that thine arm may be seen in secret. And thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. No. No, not open up the one another head because you bring tithes. But give alms. He see what you're doing. And he gonna bless you. He gonna reward you. <laughs> Men gonna give to your bosom. All right. <laughs> Hallelujah. Holy to God. Praise God. Uh, Hallelujah. I got go do the Robin 12 17. Give you a good understanding. You see what Jesus said, give. He didn't say give, give. He didn't say give, no give, no check. He said give alms, didn't he? He didn't say give no offering. He said give alms. What we got? Do the Robin 12 17. Want to give you good understanding. And we just about through. My God. Hallelujah. It, 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 your, your pastor tell you to give free will offer. Give free will offering. Free will offer, that's the law too. Devil, demon, it's all a false prophet. You ain't giving the Lord no free will offer and nothing else. Let's see what free will offer is. Deuteronomy 12, 17. And, and you, eat, you eat it also. That thou may not. Thou mayest not eat within the gates the tithe of thy corn, of thy wine, of thy oil, or the first of thy herd, or, or their flock, nor any of thy vow without vow, nor thy free will offerings, or heave offering of thine hand. But thou must eat, 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 eat them before the Lord. You ate before the Lord. 
thy God in the place that the Lord thy God shall choose. Thy son, thy daughter, thy maid, thy man servant, maid servant, leave right there within thy gate. Thy God and thou shalt rejoice before the Lord thy God and all that thou put in thy hand to do. They can get the free will off. That's the law of hypocrite. Plus you ate it. That be right there. But Jesus did tell us to give alms. Alms. <laughs> he didn't tell us, he didn't tell us to, to give no offer to no sin. He ain't getting that. We get that. Somebody asked me, when, when, when you preach, do, 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 do they raise you an offer? Yeah, sometimes. Do you take it? Yes, I take it. And thank you for it. You give it to me, not God. Yes. Any preacher tell you, Jesus said, give to the church. God said, give to the church. That preacher is a liar. You are a liar. You a liar. Jesus don't have no mortgage. Like you ain't giving to give to God. You ain't giving to God. You're lying. You ain't you give it to the pastor. You give it for the pastor's anniversary. Women day, men day. A preacher at our church say, say Don't let when, when can Jesus have a day? When is Jesus gonna have a day? <laughs> T fashion show. Path of birthday, sir. When you learn, baby, you do better. And I would say, when the pastor of the come around, they would name the day after the pastor. Our pastor would, J.E. Booker, say, okay, this is J.E. Booker Day. Now it's Bishop David Landon Hall. What day is it? David Landon Hall Day. Last praise of our they say, what day is it? I said, the Lord's Day. <laughs> Ain't no day named after no man. But this is a day that the Lord have made. And we really rejoice and be glad in it. Jesus ain't told nobody to give no offer to no church. He said give. He said alms. That means what you giving for others. When that rich young ruler came and said, uh, Master, what must I do to have eternal life? Jesus said, sell what you have and give to the poor. Jesus, Jesus didn't say give to the church or give to the ministry. Now the women ministered unto Jesus of their substance. And they were free will. They do it on their own free will. You, 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 you want to give something? That's on you. I ain't asking you for nothing. You preaching God tithes and offering God. Offering going to send you to hell. Raising offering going to send you to hell. Call you a lie. Just say, su support this building, support this organization, uh, uh, support all this stuff we doing. Leave God out of it. Uh-huh. I didn't tell you to give no God. I told nobody to get no offer. That's over. That's over. Jesus gave his life. You know you're an antichrist, don't you? You preach that God said pay tithes and offering. You know you're an antichrist, right? You don't know you're an antichrist? You said Jesus didn't come. Jesus gave his life. That's it. No more. He said, present your body living sacrifice. Get him the fruit of thy lips. All right, that's enough. God bless you. Thank you for hearing.